But first, Youngkin made one last stop to rally voters in Virginia Beach tonight. Sarah Hammond was there. Gubernatorial candidate Glenn Youngkin made his last stop here in Hampton Roads Monday night to get some last minute votes ahead of Election Day. A big crowd came out to see the GOP candidate at Neptune's Park. Let's go! Youngkin, Youngkin, Youngkin! Although early voting is over, Republican leaders were encouraging folks to get out and vote if they haven't already. Tomorrow, we're going to harass every single person we know. Knock, knock, did you go vote? Youngkin was joined by Republican Lieutenant Governor Cannon it wins some Sears. Don't give up, Virginia. Don't give in. Help is on the way. And Attorney General candidate Jason Miares. You have a lot of politicians that just assume good intentions guarantee good results. And they never ponder for a second the unintended consequences. Both pushing they want Republicans to sweep the ticket. Stop this, stop this, stop this. Then Youngkin took the stage. We are rejecting the left liberal progressive agenda that has been pushed down our throat. He told the crowd he has a long list of plans for day one in office if elected. He promised to declare the largest tax refund in the history of Virginia, eliminate the grocery tax, raise teacher wages, and press forward on what he calls the most aggressive charter school program in the history of the Commonwealth. The work starts tomorrow. Youngkin also told the crowd he wants to ban critical race theory, even though state leaders have repeatedly said CRT is not taught in Virginia schools. He also says he has big plans for bringing businesses and jobs into the area. Hampton Roads will be the economic engine of this Commonwealth, and we're going to get her moving. In Virginia Beach, Sarah Hammond, 13 News Now.